Hi everyone. I thought I was done, but I ran across something else that somebody tried to pass by again. Uh, trying to tell me that I'm doing the wrong curvature again because they say that it's 8 inches per mile and if it's 9 miles times 8 inches it's going to be 72 inches of a drop. Okay. Uh, let's take the time to find out where they got this information from because it's pretty funny we have the curvature of the earth on a video from rolling thunder 42 now we have here the statement of in an earlier question on the curvature of the earth Harley showed that the earth curves approximately 8 inches per mile since 6 feet is 72 inches and 9 times 8 equals 72 the earth curves approximately 6 feet in 9 miles. Now let's go to the actual question because I pull it up. You can see the link here hidden by the curvature uh, Shirley 3 HTML. So we pull up the uh, original question which states there are two six-foot men and wants to get the curvature of the earth. Somebody, an, somebody, somebody of older age, um, you know, somebody that you trust, responds with, hi Shirley, and the past statement. In the earlier question, eight inches per mile, six feet is six inches, nine times eight equals 72. The Earth curves approximately six feet in nine miles. And then goes off over here to explain the Pythagoras theorem. And I'm going to show you how that just does not match. And remember, this is from Google. You type in curvature of the Earth, and this comes up, and we have it on video. All right. Now I'm going to go to my diagram again. I left it up. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to make another I'm just going to make another one. <laughs> I mean it's it's getting pretty silly now. So 39.59 is the radius of the of the earth. I'm going to come back over here get the earth radius 39.59 Now, I'm going to plot this again, go to the intersection, and go 9 miles to the right. I'm going to zoom in, oops, I can barely even see that line. Okay, there it is. I'm going to scroll to the left. Zoom out a little bit. I don't want to actually scroll nine miles. It'll take forever. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sorry, I had to zoom in a lot. Now, let's go back to the curvature of the Earth from Math Central which is a very uh, used site for math and it says again 9 times 8 equals 72 earth curves approximately 6 feet and 9 inches okay now that's our our 9 mile mark and I'm going to do 72 inches and see if it touches wait a minute but first I forgot we have to convert the inches to miles. 72 inches is 0 0.00113636 miles. Remember my draft is in units of miles, so I have to do this every time I do a measurement. So 0 0011336. Let's draw a line. Zero zero one one thirty six thirty six. Oops, I forgot to put the point. <laughs> point 
point zero zero one one thirty six thirty six. That's it. All right, there it is. That represents seventy two inches. That represents the information they give kids. This is probably a teacher, an elder, that passes down this information. How can this be? It is the wrong math. Now, I'm going to put a dimension on it. I mean, dim linear. I'm just going to leave it there. To verify, that's point zero zero one one. Seventy two inches is point zero zero one one miles. This is astounding. This is absurd and beyond beyond my wildest imagination. Now, now let's even take let's even take the actual radius, which is three thousand nine hundred and fifty nine miles. And let's go to the right. 3,959 miles. And you can see it goes, it, go, it makes a perfect square, and I can, you know, make a perfect square on the circle right here. Okay, now let's take the math, which is the formula that is given to this young person with a very good question. So his this Penny, sorry about that, Miss Penny here, her formula to the curvature is just a multiplication. 9 times 8, the mile times the inches, which over here, I, she doesn't even put the math where she even got the 8 inches from. Alright, now if it's miles times inches, then let's take the miles with the calculator, 39,059, and multiply it with 8 inches, which is 31,672 inches. I'm going to divide by 12 to get the feet, which is 2,639 feet, and I'm going to divide that by a mile, which is 5,280 feet, to get the decimal conversion for my draft. Now, that is 0.499873 miles. That's a half of a mile. Now, I'm going to come over here and make a line which is exactly what it said there point four nine nine eight seven three miles it didn't even go down look at it I'm gonna take a dimension linear, a linear dimension. I'm just going to leave it there. Point four nine nine miles, a half of a mile. I don't know. I don't know if they are messing with people. I don't know if people actually try to draw this out and measure it out themselves but again one in every four of people 
struggles with Matt. And then the young cannot tell the difference between the smart elders and the not knowing elders. I don't want to say other different terms because I don't want to offend anyone. And you see it right here. Nine miles times eight inches. And they don't even put the math on how they got it. And what also comes to my attention, and the reason why I put the video of Rolling Thunder, because this Google, putting this question into Google, curvature of the earth, and then putting it again now, which is, I'll just press enter, and it reloaded, curvature of the earth. They changed it. They changed it completely. This time they actually put the math on how they get there. And here it is. Now I looked through it, I analyzed it, and I also saw another funny thing is that now the radius is 3,963 feet. So what is it? It's not feet, sorry. It's 3,963 miles. This right here says 3,963 miles for Math Central, and Google says it's 3,959 miles. Make up your mind. Now let's go to the actual uh, website of this place. And there you go. Math Central. We have English. We have French. Frances. Y Espanol. And there's a nice little pentagon right here. I like that. This right here is proof of how they are manipulating and controlling the masses with disinformation. Disinformation number one. Disinformation number two. And a bunch of others that I can find that are glitches in the matrix. Now, not only are one in every four people uh, struggling with math itself, now in the United States, we have another dilemma, and it is called Common Core. When we go to Common Core, they can just make up stuff and they can seem right. Okay? Common Core. Common Core says 3 times 4 equals 11 is okay. And we're going to listen to what she says. And she is a teacher, and you have the flag of United States of America right here. And another one. And let's play. But even under the new Common Core, if, even if they said 3 times 4 was 11, if they were able to explain their reasoning and explain how they came up with their answer really in um, words and in oral explanations and they showed it in the picture but they just got the final number wrong we're really more focusing on the how and the way to we, be correcting them oh absolutely right? <laughs> absolutely we want our students to compute correctly but the emphasis is really moving more towards the explanation and the how and the why and can I really talk through the procedures that I went through to get this answer and not just knowing that it's 12 but why is it 12 how do I know that all right there you have it folks we have disinformation and in a mass level of confusion can you imagine what goes in these kids minds when they have to try to explain how they came up with a number and over here you have a little girl that says 
Kids react to 2 plus 2 equals 5. A teacher describes why she left teaching in public schools. Common Core. They even call it Obama math. I mean, honestly, I don't even think that guy is even responsible for that. There's probably the people who are behind the closed doors. The evidence is compiling more and more and more and more. Let's even let's even take the entire diameter with this equation that they give this little girl. What is the diameter not the diameter, sorry about that, the cir the circumference of the earth. The circumference is two thousand I mean twenty-four thousand nine hundred and one miles. Twenty-four thousand 901 miles. Now this line here represents if you grab it from both ends and bend it and make a circle. And let's just do a dim linear. Sorry about the uh, text because it's all modified for a little bit of a closer version. But we're going to zoom in. That verifies the dimension. And let's take the math again that they gave that little girl. Shirley was told by Miss Penny that it's miles times 8 inches. So let's take 24,901 miles times 8 inches. That's 100,000, 199,208 inches divided by 12 to get the feet, which is 16,600.6 feet. And we're going to divide by miles, which is 5,280 to get the decimal 3.144 and amazingly it comes to the number of pi the world is a masterpiece you cannot deny it the math is there it's always there it's hidden in plain sight plain sight so this tells us that the curve is 3.144 miles with this distance and let's plot that let's see let's see how big that is let's see how a curvature drop 3.144 let's do a dim linear represents miles and there it is that's the circumference of the world with a 3.144 mile drop. That's the given curvature that they gave this little girl and which inadvertently, unknowingly, makes makes the world flat. And people want to give me the same equation that they saw on here and tell me that it makes a circle. Does it make a circle, people? Can somebody explain this to me? Can somebody with an architectural experience or an engineer come over here and explain this?
given the real dimensions, given the real numbers, numbers don't lie. And here it is. Just remind, just, just, this is just mind boggling. But even under the new Common Core, if, even if they said three times four was 11, if they were able to explain their reasoning and explain how they came up with their answer really in um, words and in oral explanations, and they showed it in the picture, but they just got the final number wrong, we're really more focusing on the how and the way to we, be correcting them. Oh, absolutely, right? <laughs> absolutely. We want our students to compute correctly, but the emphasis is really moving more towards the explanation and the how and the why, and can I really talk through the procedures that I went through to get this answer? And not just knowing that it's 12, but why is it 12? How do I know that? That's all for today. Good night. for the most part don't have a clue they don't want one or need one either they're happy they think they have a good bead on things well why, why the big secret people are smart they can handle it the person is smart people are dumb panicky dangerous animals and you know it 1500 years ago everybody knew the earth was the center of the universe 500 years ago everybody knew the earth was flat and 15 minutes ago you knew that people were alone on this planet Imagine what you'll know tomorrow. Hi everyone, I thought I was done, but I ran across something else that somebody tried to pass by again, uh, trying to tell me that I'm doing the wrong curvature again, because they say that it's 8 inches per mile, and if it's 9 miles times 8 inches, it's only 6 feet in 9 miles. Now let's go to the actual question, because I pulled it up. 
you can see the link here hidden by the curvature uh, Shirley 3 HTML so we pull up the uh, original question which states there are two six-foot men and wants to get the curvature of the earth somebody and um, somebody somebody of older age um, you know somebody that you trust responds with hi Shirley and the past statement in the earlier question eight inches per mile six feet is six inches it's going to be 72 inches of a drop okay uh, let's take the time to find out where they got this information from because it's pretty funny we have the curvature of the earth on a video from Rolling Thunder 42 now we have here the statement of in an earlier question on the curvature of the earth Harley showed that the earth curves approximately 8 inches per mile since 6 feet is 72 inches and 9 times 8 equals 72 the earth curves approximately 9 times 8 equals 72 the earth curves approximately 6 feet and 9 miles and then goes off over here to explain the Pythagoras theorem and I'm gonna show you how that just does not match and remember this is from Google you type in curvature of the earth and this comes up and we have it on video All right now I'm gonna go to my diagram again I left it up so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make another I'm just gonna make another one <laughs> I mean it's it's getting pretty silly now. So, 39.59 is the radius of the of the Earth. I'm going to come back over here, get the Earth radius, 39.59. Now, I'm going to plot this again. Go to the intersection and go nine miles to the right. I'm going to zoom in. Oops. 